Hello everyone, this time I will provide a tutorial on how to resolve curse errors without having to configure the server. And here I already have the API URL. But there is still an error when requesting. And now we try to run the HTML. And we go to the browser. Yes, it's open here. But the data doesn't appear. And when I open console. I see this curse error. You often face this error when you want to use the API. And now it's my job. How to solve this. And can use this API without having to configure from the server. And now we go to the browser and search for curse anywhere. This project will help us to solve the curse API problem without having to fix it from the server. I will practice how to use it now. And this I will copy paste in my Node.js file. And before that we first create a Node.js project in a new folder, so now I create a new folder in it. And initiating the project with Yarn. And after that we npm install curse anywhere. And here there is a Node.js project. So we create a new main.js file. And later I will copy and paste the script into the main.js file. And after that. We will test it locally first on localhost. To make sure it works well. And for how to use it. You only need to add the domain from the curse that we created earlier and delimit it with the sign and behind it is our API URL. And make sure it is correct. And exactly what I did. Remember, the separator is only the symbol between the two URLs. And we try to test the fire. If it was a curse error, then after we refresh it again, it should work fine now. And now it works fine. And the curse error no longer appears. However, the only task is how to burn the fire that we made earlier. No longer localhost. So we have to deploy it online. And let's continue the method. And before deploying, we install data according to our OS. If it's Linux, I just copy and paste it into the terminal. And then we create a new project. Position it now in the root of your Node.js project folder. If successful, a file called space file will appear. In that file we set the command to run Node.js from the main.js file. And successfully deployed. Now we just change the local host domain name with this detailed domain.
Remember, you have to separate it with a slash. Look at my curs domain section. I end with slash. And now let's test again. In production, does it work well? If possible then your problem has been resolved. And here there is no curse error anymore. You can use your fire without fear of being exposed to fire. Maybe that's a simple solution so far that's how I got around the curse.